everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Decades Challenge. We are in the 70s and it's been a minute before I've played but we're back at this beautiful little house and oh god I forgot my son. Catherine is at work at the moment. Almost home. Catherine is almost home. So oh and let's see, Christopher is still here. Okay, so Catherine is home. She has brought home 272 simoleons. She sees her friend Christopher in her house. So let her go say hello. I really like this that I'm starting with just them being good friends together. Because then maybe then after that they can start building more of a relationship. Like depending on how this whole thing goes with um with Strangerville. Okay, so we need to go to that bathroom. I forgot how I had this house all done up. Oh and then maybe they could cook together. Because they are like best friends, so they can cook together a nice meal. So, cook. Oh, Messiah. Cook with Christopher. Um, Messiah says, hey, I heard you became friends with Christopher Johnson. He's pretty cool. Yes, he is. He's got to be our boo. I'll make some mac, good old-fashioned mac and cheese. Because of my, I was hoping to get a nice good shot of the two of them cooking together, but I can't. I wanted to, them to grab a meal together. Call to meal. Why are you angry? Indignant from, oh, life isn't fair. <laughs> and Catherine wants to take it out on the world. Well, we're going to eat, Catherine, and then you can go and do some jogging or marching. You need to march around anyway. But, oh, look at him. He got some little hairs on his chest. Oh, God. No, don't be mad at him. Come on, he's your only friend. There we go. There she goes talking to him. They kind of look alike. I guess I kind of like that. I apologize to him. Let's discuss some interest while they're eating. Or maybe they could work out together. I'd never thought of that. Uh, it's not working for me! Okay, let's see. Share conspiracy theories. About the secret lab and the mission that you're on. Because he's about the only one you can talk to right now. And let us get to know him a little more. Let's discuss interest. Let's see what he's interested in. Okay. And then we can go and we can work out together. Do a rage field run. Oh, he's romantic. Let's see what we think of Christopher. She perceives him as very attractive. That's good. Just like that, Christopher Johnson thinks Catherine Gibson as well and wants to become best friends, of course. Yes, they can be. And then maybe after this, maybe they could do a little bit more. Like, let's see, encourage him to work out. And then maybe after this, the two of them. Oh, we reached level three of fitness. Yeah. The two of them can go out. Oh, don't get too excited, um, Christopher. We need you to be well. 
So she decided while she is jogging, she realized something. She needs to go and visit. Okay, so all we got to do left is go marching. They're going to go and visit the secret lab. It's so loud, but we are in with um, Christopher. She decided to bring him along. They can go here together. Because she wanted to search the lab again. She is in. She feels like she wants to do the best job she can do as possible. Um, oh, and he is flirty. Okay, let's see. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Let's see, maybe the two of them can get on. Oh, I know she is a bit stinky. I had her come all the way over here. And she's not the most, her hygiene is down. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Let us. Oh, God. What did it say? She's going to compliment him. Who knows, maybe a romance will blossom out of the two of them from this, being on this together. Oh no. I'm clicking too many times. Let's see, she can confess an attraction to him. Well, he's kind of confessing an attraction to her. He finds this really intriguing of her boldness. Like, she's just come out and has just decided, like, oh, forget this. I'm going to, let's let us look ourselves and see what we can find. Oh, I already searched there. I've got one more place to search for evidence. Search for evidence. we got a few more. We can search there, too. It's a pity there's no shower. And then she can come back. Oh, and maybe the two of them can. Oh, wow. That was quick. The flirting went up. Well, I guess he... Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened. It like... Oh, y'all did see that with my screen. Oh, is he non-committal? Okay, come on, darlings. Let's get a move on. This is some very slow flirting that is going on. It's close to midnight, and our girl is back home. She is so dirty. She's grungy, but she's going to have herself a nice bath, and then she's going to, after that, take herself off to bed. She also did create, let's see, from home sweet home and she has a new best friend yeah they seem to be growing quite closer together um yep they're co-workers they are love birds deeply connected oh that's that sounds good and then there's doreen doreen gibson um that's her mom Oh God, there's two Doreens. Doreen is the mom and Doreen, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, who's, I think Daisy is, that's her aunt. Daisy is her aunt. Okay. Uh, Catherine is awake. She is all rested. Look at all that hair in all her glory before she puts it in a two in its two space bun to keep it out of her face. But today is another day, and she's gonna get herself something to eat because she starts work soon. And let's see some of the evidence that we did receive. 
I don't know how we're gonna find it, but I guess we will. It should be in... Oh, there we go. So, we can compile a secret... Oh, we have successfully compiled a secret dossier. The dossier can be used to request a key card. I bet scientists Miller, and their couriers would be very interested in seeing this. Oh, yes, and we got some seeds. Okay, so today after work, we'll have something else that we need to go and do. We're going to clean this up. We're going to work in an hour. Who she's thinking of? A family member. I think that's her brother. Okay, so let's get some marching around going on before we go to work at 6. Uh, all right. I thought we'd have time to go and march, but she is off to work. We are back home, and Catherine is all excited because she has a promotion. But we are going to... I know we're not supposed to use a cell phone, but we need to. We are going to call our um, Christopher and ask him out on a date because it's love day. But we have a hidden agenda. So let's ask him out on a date. Look at her. She looks so cute. Oh, she is cute. No, why is Christopher calling us? Arthur Gibson better as a friend. Okay, you should go for it. You can ask him as a friend. But I just want to get this, like some nice pictures going. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Just when I had the right, perfect moment, she decided to turn around. Uh, but are we going on the date? No. Come on. He's got to want to go on a date with us. Let's see. Let's ask it again. Ask on date. Ask Christopher on a date. Christopher, say yes. Go on the date with us. We have a whole hidden agenda. Why won't he go on a date with us? Ah. Okay. Catherine has this whole plan that she needs to go to meet up with one of the military personnel. But she can't because Christopher won't go on a date with us. So she invited him over to come and eat. And she's going to kind of use the relationship like use the uh, like because she knows he likes her so she's gonna kind of use that to her advantage why does he look sad oh he looks so sad okay so she is going to we're gonna flirt with him a little, there we go, yes. We're going to cheer him up. She's going to put on that Gibson charm. And let's see. She's going to blow him a kiss. She's trying to take it slow, but <laughs> in was in the normal sum fashion I don't see this going as as slow let them have their first kiss are they gonna have their first kiss Let's see. Hopefully they will. She's like, oh yeah, I'm going to get my kiss out of you. Yeah. 
And then while we add it, we are going to, I don't know if this one was the one, no. Is it, has to be boyfriend. Oh, why would she scare him? Oh, God. Okay. Yes. Oh, she's got herself a boyfriend. And while we add it, now let's try it again. We are going to ask on a date. I forgot which one it was to look for a, um, let's just ask on a date. Okay. Come on. Let's go on this date. Yes, we're going on a date. One thing about Catherine, she knows how to get what she wants. We're going to go to 8 Bells Bar. Oh, we are here at our at the date. But before we continue further with the date, let us, we have to give a military introduction to our military personnel. It's like we don't want him to know that we're not. Um... Okay, so she's going to go and say hi to him. Hi to her. Her name is Kristen Gilman. Okay. And then, oh, it's still. Okay. Let's worry about Kristen after. Let us go and sit here. Oh, we got a flirt with him. Let's see. Christopher, offer him a rose and let us order a drink. So, we are going to order... I'm trying to see what we can order. Barley ale, mimosa, a coquito, dark and stormy. We are going to order two rum and cokes. That sounds like something they'd have in the military. Okay, what is she doing? Come on, you need to go. No, let's, let's go. Let's go talk to our date. We'll come back and deal with her. Let's go chat with our date. Oh no. Catherine, you're the worst. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think quite, uh, twice about opening your door. Oh, and there was a prank. Okay, so she is... Okay, so we see... Oh, Jerry Parsons, that's our stepbrother. Let's say hi to Jerry. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me do anything. We'll talk to him about Strangerville. Because we're not ordering any drinks. We're supposed to have ordered some drinks. Okay. Oh, why is Jerry seems tense? Have you been noticing the bizarre plants popping up around town? You best keep your distance from them. Okay, let's see. Let's greet Eliana because she is a military personnel. So maybe she would know something. Let's give her a military introduction. And while we at it, we like really trying hard. We try to be like undercover and use the whole thing that we are. Uh, we are there for. Okay, let's share some war stories. And then I guess we gotta order our drink again, cause I ordered us the rum and cokes and we never seem to get them 
Look how he's looking at her. Oh my god. He really loves her. I guess he would do anything for her. But. There we go. We're getting it from the bartender. I want this day to go well first. And then maybe after that we can get what we want. The info. Okay, I don't know if she got the if she's gonna get any drink. Let's enthuse about outdoors. Let's um chat a little more. Have a deep conversation with Christopher. Oh, we needed to flirt some more. Let's flirt some more with Christopher. Cause let's get this date moving along. Um Physical intimacy, let us give him a kiss. And there we go, there comes our rum and cokes. Look at the two of them. I wish it could be something like toast. No. Our date is going really, really well. So we are going to... Oh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's like I have a conversation and then I know I need to, let's um, ask about the military. We're going to question because we have to ask some questions about our job. So let us do that. And then how do we get the, um, the key? The door requires a key cord to see if they know where to get one. Oh, Maybe you and I need to take this job, take this date elsewhere. I can't, oh, oh no, we might get into trouble. We try to, oh, we can't travel. Okay. So let's end the date. And then let's see if we can travel with him. Why is it doing this to me? Okay, so the date, we had a lovely love day, but this date needs to continue. So, let's travel with Christopher. We're going to travel home with him. Okay. Let us, we are going to travel home with Christopher. Okay, Christopher will see us home. Date went off so well that she's still in a military outfit. So she decided to bring Christopher home. And it's the 70s. Life is free. So they are about to take the relationship to the next level before she goes off to sleep. She figured she'd just leave the other thing for the next day, for tomorrow. Um, trying to get the, the military card. Oh, and look at that, the strange plant. I didn't even realize that, but let's give these two some privacy. Okay, our girl is asleep and Christopher's awake. Let's follow this Christopher. Where is he going to? I don't know what his plan is. <laughs> Oh, God. I know he was thinking about our mac and cheese. Was it good? Oh, it was excellent. He's grabbing himself another plate of her mac and cheese. Go, Christopher. Get yourself some, boy. Okay. Let us... How many? I don't know how much. It's three hours left. So let's grab a serving. We can wake up and grab a serving. And while we add it, we can just ask him to stay overnight. Invite to stay the night. And I don't know if we can ask him about Strangerville. I guess we could.
Uh, let's talk just a little bit more about Strangerville. Oh, look, and then she's talking to him about it. A sleepover sounds great. And maybe they could believe the military is behind some kind of cover-up. I think so, too. Uh, we'll have another woo-woo session right after that. She looks so... Oh, and Love Day was successful. And then, just like that, he says, I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask you if you'd like to live together. Um, she'll say yeah. Knowing her, she'll say yes, I'd love that. So, we now have a roommate. <laughs> okay, we're going to move Christopher in. Oh, wait now. We got some babies. Let's see, that's Sharon, Nora, and Vicente. Vincent, or Vincent, Vin Vincent, and we are going to take some of this money. Okay. And let us, okay, he's tired too. So I want to see who's the babies. I don't think it's his babies. Okay. Oh, so the baby Vicente is his brother. His mom and dad had a baby. And then his sister has Nora Johnson. Who did she get that baby from? Brian. Oh, God. He's in high school. They're both in high school. Okay. So he's supposed to get a significant other. He already has one. He can give her a passionate kiss. And uh, maybe they could just, because now that they're living together, the two of them, they can oh, woohoo again. He's got the soulmate aspiration. A more amateur. Ah, uh, there must be some kind of a thing because I don't see anything in the soulmate aspiration. Oh, no, 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 no. They were supposed to. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I gotta delete those two beds. Okay, let's see. Maybe he'll woo -woo with her again now. If not, we'll just send him off to bed because he's just as tired as what she is. It's Saturday morning and our girl is happy. She has herself a boyfriend. She's living with him. And she just feels like she's one step closer to getting what she wanted to get. Here, in the meantime, he's just, he thinks he, he's just found his soulmate. So, he is happy about that. And while I'm in here, let me just get into the, because she had a promotion. So, and I think that I will find the, um, the case for the medals in her inventory. So, let's do that. Let's see. No, I didn't. I just found the VIP bucket. I don't think I put it in here. No, no, I didn't. Mm, no, I did not. So we're going to take that out too. And let's put the case. I think I'll find it in here. Because he's going to need one too if he's in the military. So, I didn't think of that. Mm, I don't know where to find it. 
military military grey flag ball no it's the middle case I think middle middle display case yes where okay yeah I see it so I have one and two okay there we go Agala she's getting her work on early morning work on going and I think I'm gonna have her she's gonna go and have a jog yes that's what we're gonna do let's go while her, her boyfriend is asleep I almost said husband while her boyfriend is asleep she is going to go and get herself a little jog in there she goes look at her looking all nice and cute in her little jogging outfit as she goes jogging but in reality it's more so that she's trying to find an excuse to be in the area that she's in okay so then she's gonna come and say hi to Christy Hightower so uh, I guess we'll give her a military introduction okay, right after we are done with our jogging Strangerville is actually a nice town um, Minus the fact that it is strangeable, but it's a nice town. She got her jogging time in, so Catherine has decided she's going to go and do some investigation on herself. So she's going to visit the little store. You know, I, oh, I just realized that. The little okay so now that we have seen Christy Hightower let's talk about Strangerville and I don't know what she's gonna tell us some sinister stuff is going on if I knew somebody trustworthy I might even show them the evidence I found um, let us let's try and get to know her a little more. So we're gonna compliment her. We're gonna try. We're not gonna just go in and say, "Well, we know this or that." Um, let's see. We can talk about Strangerville, and then I don't know if we can show her. No. The dossier, no. I got a piece of evidence about Strangerville Mystery from a... Oh, so she's willing to give out some info. Now let's just see. Can we request a key card? I think I have a key card in my secret inventory. I will only sell this to you if you are approved. Maybe if you have a secret dossier. Okay, so can we... I don't know. How do we give it to her? How do we give it to her? I do have a secret dossier. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do we have to gift it to her? Okay, let's get to know her. Let's get to know her. And when maybe I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Like I've played the Strangerville um only for a little bit. Okay, maybe it's in your salute. No. Let's go out of friendly. Let's see. Secret inventory. Oh yeah, we can. We do have it in the secret inventory. We have a key card! Yay! So now we can enter the secret lab. 
So we are going to bring Christopher here and then we need to talk to Christopher. So where is he? Is he there? In his pajamas. He's like, honey, why did you bring me in my pajamas? But let's go and let's let's go and tell him a story. Um and we might as well take him out of this, out of his pajamas. Change. Change your outfit, darling. Because he doesn't know, he, he doesn't have, he doesn't know the stuff his wife is trying, his girlfriend is trying to do. As far as he knows is, he'll just, he's about to see just how in-depth she is going. So, we, she's going to say, honey, you and I, we need to go to the secret, back to that lab, back to the secret lab. And with this, I am going to leave this episode off right here. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed Um it wasn't much that happened, except for the fact that Catherine has got herself in a relationship, and she's got herself kind of in a situation of where she is trying to go above the authority of her um, her superiors, and she wants to see what it is that they are hiding. And she has enlisted her boyfriend who would do anything for her to come with her as well. And we are going to leave this off right here. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. Um, Please give it a nice big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.